Hey, what's up guys? The Flixer again. Welcome back to Combat Mission Shock Force 2. I am so excited to be back in my favorite strategy game of all time, or at least my favorite strategy game series. Combat Mission Battle for Normandy is a game we've played a lot here on the channel. We haven't done as many Combat Mission Shock Force 2 videos, which is set in modern day Syria with plenty of factions and a lot of fun things to check out. We've done a few videos of the US Marines. Uh, I do believe we've uh, played as the Canadians as well. So there's a lot more to check out. Today we're going to play as the British Army and we're going to go up against a insurgent cell occupying this town here. So it's going to be a very bloody battle. Now, as I said, this is my favorite strategy game series, and I've played a lot of it on the channel before. A lot of you guys have pointed out that you've been hesitant or reluctant to get into the game because it's been a little bit complicated getting. You know, there's a homepage or a, or a website that you buy the game off of, and then you have to download patches and all those kinds of things. Activate the game, and it's just, you know, for a lot of gamers these days, you want it to be really simple. So I can happily announce to those of you who wanted to get this game but were kind of a little frightened because of all the steps in getting it, the game is hitting the Steam store tomorrow, August 25th. Everyone who owns the game previously can redeem a free Steam key so that you can, uh, you know, put the game into your Steam account and play off of there. It should be very simple with all the patches and whatnot and... Um, I'm quite, uh, I'd say I'm a very capable computer guy in terms of patching and downloading files and whatnot, but for a lot of you guys who are a little bit more casual but still enjoy this kind of realism, this kind of game, Steam Store function is going to be, or having the game on Steam is going to just be uh, perhaps uh, a much better way for you to get into the game series. I'm hoping, I can't speak for anyone else, but I'm hoping the, the other combat mission games hit the Steam store and it would be awesome to also have a workshop function because this game has a very living or uh, modding community one could say uh, it's just uh, it's just awesome in many ways so here we are with the British Army we've never played as them before uh, we are going to knock out the insurgent forces holding this town it is a small battle size on a medium map small to me I mean there's a lot of dudes here we have a whole company of uh, a light rifle or a part of a light rifle battalion um, this is H, this is a company, right? Um, and I think Battalion HQ should be back here. Here we go. And everyone else is under his command. Um, we've got some light vehicles. We have a reconnaissance vehicle, a scimitar, and that is really our only armored vehicle. The rest are going to be jackals and some, uh, Tomb ST. Is this like a Land Rover kind of deal? I do believe so. Um, I'm going to have to get more familiar with the keys, the hotkeys and whatnot, and later on possibly also disable this objective system, but it's good to kind of know where we're going. Uh, this is giving me, like, right off the back, some serious reality, pro project reality vibes. Um, when you used to place the British Army up against the insurgents on some classic maps. Really good stuff. So we do have some cover starting off. Uh, we're probably not going to take any initial fire. I'm not sure where their deployment zone ends, but when you're attacking, the defender can spread out quite far and wide. Um, this bridge here is something we're going to utilize as well for cover and passage. Uh, we're going to have to spread out to the far uh, left and right flank and uh, use our vehicles and whatnot to our best ability. Um, there's a lot of hard cover up here and a lot of open ground, so it's going to be a tough nut to crack. Even though our uh, force is a veteran, uh, highly motivated veteran force with good leadership, and most of their units are uh, unconventional fighters, and of course, uh, they have little to no experience, but they have the the willpower, they have the fanatic motivation setting on, which makes sense, fighting a force like this, um, but with poor leadership and just overall poor training, so hopefully they won't be as accurate, even though they're going to be, well, doing their best to hold their ground. I don't think we're going to see any uh, enemies surrendering today, so it's going to be a very bloody battle, to say the least. But, um, once again, check out the description box below for uh, instructions on how to redeem a free CD key to Steam, if you already own the game on the Battlefront store page, and also just the, the, the straight link to the Steam store page where you can buy the game and start playing today. So, or tomorrow, technically, if this video is going up today, Monday. Right. Um, what do we have? Um... First platoon HQ, we got second platoon and third platoon as well. Uh, some infantry squads. Our infantry squads are eight-man strong with some light machine guns. We've got some grenadiers. 
uh, you know, just a good setup. We even have some AT, but we're not going to be utilizing uh, too many uh, anti-tank weapons today since the enemy really only has like vehicles like technicals. Um, our vehicles, other than the uh, unarmored ones, or unarmed ones, are the jackals here with a variety of weaponry. We have the, uh, the uh, GPMG, the 40 mil grenade launcher, and some uh, general purpose machine guns, as well as some heavier 50 caliber guns as well. Um, they don't have too many passenger seats, only two extra, so we're not going to be using these to transport infantry. I do believe these fire support section so these utility vehicles, right, they have some extra passenger seats, but not not enough to uh, transport a whole squad. So we might have to separate these into two separate sections uh, doing so, where you can uh, have assault teams and just split teams and just do different things. And, of course, we have the scimitar. More vehicles back here. A lot of vehicles. That's good. Good to transport. We might rush in, but I don't think we're going to do that. Um, so let's get started with positioning. Uh, this is always my, like... Part of my favorite uh, stage of the battle is just to get your units set up nicely. So, um, right. First platoon will take the uh, left flank with the squads set up in order. I think we our deployment zone is kind of small here, so we're going to be a little bit crammed. And there's always going to be a tiny bit of lag here early on, but that usually just... Not lag, but like there's always a bit of a slow refresh in terms of uh, selecting units and placing them, so can be a tiny tiny bit slow um we've got the second platoon he's going to be in the center with his uh sections so so i think we're, we might just do like a uh, a line formation attack where we kind of bring up a lot of firepower at once to this ridge where we have some some decent natural cover but not any hard cover any mortars out there are going to pick us off uh, and i do believe the insurgents do have one medium mortar team um Insurgent Mortars, I have seen them perform very differently over on uh, YouTube. Some just self-imploding. Uh, I'm not sure if they're, they're going to do any of that today, but it would certainly give us some uh, some extra breathing room. Um, here is the... This is the Reconnaissance. Now, this is the Fire Support Section, right? So, the Fire Support Section HQ is back here. Um, I think we're going to leave them in the vehicle. We have... This is the GMG. One GMG there. I think we want to put these a little bit further back. Uh, this is the heavy machine gun one with a 50 caliber. There's another GMG Jackal over there. This is a this is a different GMG because this one says Tum W M I K GMG, and this one says M W M I K GMG Jackal. Oh yeah, I, yeah, they're different. They're different. This is more of a Land Rover based one, and this is the Jackal. So they are indeed quite different, but they should have the same weaponry. So. Yeah, firepower is going to be the same. Protection is going to be slightly different. And over here is another GMG Jackal. I'm going to put this one in the center. And we should have uh, two more HMGs. I might just do like that. I'm not sure if this is a good formation. In fact, I think it might be a little too tightly spaced. Enemy mortars are going to have an easier time doing more damage, if so. Uh, they should also have some AT teams like recoilless rifles and whatnot. In fact, I'm a little frightened. Sometimes when I get into these games, I'm like, ah, we're going to run over the enemy. we got superior firepower. But this is a British Army, not hardcore U.S. Marine Corps, bring in all the air you've got kind of deal. This is a little grittier. Um, and it's not that the British Army doesn't have any, you know, adequate air force. Not at all. No, no, no. But this kind of battle size it does not allow us to really bring that in. So the smaller the battle, the, the lesser the advantage, or perhaps none at all. Uh, these guys are part of the 1 Battalion just uh, HQ then, so he's like a reserve. Uh, this is the 2IC. And we're going to bring the commander out, because it's always nice to have the commander out. Lieutenant, is this a major? I do believe this is a major. I do remember some of the hockeys. That's nice. We have sniper teams, too, that I definitely want to use. Uh, part of HQ. Uh, maybe bring some snipers up to the bridge. I could transport them as well. We could ferry them to other locations but up here once we cross this road we're going to be in the open for enemy small arms and whatnot and over here on the right side that that's not going to do much difference as well so we might as well kind of move them up to the bridge here where they can do some work uh we're gonna have to take this slowly now we do have mortars uh we, we've got some uh, uh some mortar fire controllers here that can call that in we have three on map light mortars who has these guys or like i wonder 
where are these on map 51 millimeter mortars they're not part of the regular teams they got to be part of the the fire support section no no mortar here uh okay yeah third platoon hq has one so the platoon hqs they have the light mortars i'm not sure if they'll utilize them on their own like direct fire but We'll find out. Of course, the scimitar. I think I want to bring the scimitar up under the bridge. I don't know. Is that too, like, obvious? From here, he's going to have a lot of cover from the right, and he can just range those guys in straight ahead. So unless unless he runs straight into an RPG, he should be pretty fine. We're going to definitely bring infantry up first on the sides. and just kind of have to time it nicely. Um, we got reconnaissance as well. Some recce teams. But <laughs> once again, pretty... Not, not overly firm teams one could say machine gun detachment let's put him in the scimitar can you carry any infantry no you can't okay uh we'll bring recce up here we should have some extra scout teams as well in that same vehicle uh six team and five team then right or just recce team four team okay they're in the uh, why why okay what is this Recce team, 1st Battalion, okay. Oh, he's, oh, they're in the vehicle. Okay, well, I'll just put them back here. I don't want too much, I don't want too many bodies up in the front there. That is gonna just reduce. Once again, I am no pro at this at all. I have really got no education in any kind of military strategies whatsoever, too. I'm not, I'm not like many of you people watching, ex-military or ex-officers or whatever. I've had a lot of people approach me during my combat mission videos, uh, you know, asking me if they wanted help, or if they could help me with, with military strategy and whatnot. But you're just kind of going off of whatever your general uh, general intuition is. Uh, this is still maneuver support. Okay. Not sure what to do with these guys yet, so perhaps we can use them to transport third platoon. But for now, we are going to bring them back here. For now. Okay, so this is our setup. It's spread out. That's what matters the most. We don't. We really can't do too many tricky things. So let's begin, because I think if you do it before you start, you don't need vision. So we got three 81 millimeter mortars, part of one team, so to speak. Sort of, sort of speak. Uh, and maybe can do. You guys can do. Okay, so the platoon HQs can do smoke. Uh, let's smoke some off while we bring up the stuff. It's gonna be pretty short. So let's just do like a 62 meter uh, smoke. For, uh, I'm not sure, you've got four rounds, so the maximum amount of smoke, I suppose. Hello, fire mission, over. Yes. Hello, fire mission, out. Hello, hello. Uh, we can do another one here uh, for second platoon. Let's just, let's just cut this. Cut this road off here as well. Just maybe we should smoke the enemy too. I want to smoke there because I don't know if the enemy. Ah, maybe. Oh, I'm. Mm. You kind of want to smoke the enemy. You don't want to really want to smoke yourself. So let's abort that fire mission. Ceasefire. We could do all three in a line here to cut them off. Uh, the smoke's gonna linger for some time. Uh, we might have messed that one up. Nope. Okay, good then. We're gonna do. We're gonna smoke off some of the, some of the uh, VPs here. Smoke for a maximum amount of time. Hello, fire mission over. Hello, fire mission out. I think he should be able to do several at once since we're doing this pre-battle. They've got this kind of like set up. We're gonna do an 80 meter coverage there of smoke. Hello, fire mission over. Hello, fire mission out. And I don't believe... Uh, I'm not sure we're going to have too many tro enemy troops in that area there. But let's do another smoke over here. Hello, so smoke off the, the VPs. I don't think we're going to see any enemy infantry up here. If they have any enemy assets up at this bridge, I mean, they're, they're done for. So we don't really need to worry too much about that and smoke them off. Uh, we can start... Uh, I think we can also have Battalion HQ call in the, the other guns. I'm not sure where the enemy is going to be at. But let's just blow this whole front off. If that makes any sense. We don't have to utilize all the rounds. Maybe we should clear south first. Since we're going to be coming in on this flank heavily at a start. And then we can kind of see where it goes. 
So I reckon the enemy is going to be here, but you never know. The AI, the AI is quite clever. But let's do a creeping barrage of 140 meters to the right. Uh, let's use... Let's use two guns and have one in reserve. We're going to do a heavy bombardment here, because why not? And for a... What's the short? I'm not sure what the duration that is. Quick is very quick, but let's let's begin with short. Uh, general. It's personnel, too, but they're going to be in buildings. So let's do general. Hey, immediate. Confirm. Hello, over. And we have one in reserve in case we need to call Hello, something else in. And since it's short, out. if we don't have to waste too many rounds in case something goes... Poopy. All right. Let's start the battle. And, uh, yeah. Let's bring up some sniper teams real slow and steady now. Real slow and steady. One section. That was very instant. So that's going to shake him up nicely. Mortars. Nice. Off map, 81 mil mortars. That is going to make a lot. Nice. We'll keep two section in reserve. We'll bring three section up on this side as well. We're going to bring him to some cover there. I don't want to be too slow about this. So go on the hunt. Hello, rounds complete. End of mission out. Okay. <laughs> so this is our only real armored vehicle here. We want, definitely want to see this guy stay alive. 30 mil. Ooh, that's a limited amount of ammo, though. 39 HE rounds. But here's another look at the British infantry. Crikey. How did I... Was it Alt-I? Yes! Sorry, I remember. It's nice to remember. You can go for some cool screenshots. Yeah. They get cooler, too. I definitely want to catch some of the... Like... Get some. Right, we're definitely not going to be focusing on getting cool screenshots, but still. Okay, let's bring the icons back on. And let's bring this guy up slowly with the infantry. Smoke is... Uh, working. But those are only four rounds. I'm not sure I timed that correctly. They're still firing them, though, so... Should be good. We've sh we, we shook up this area quite a bit. If they had any forces outside or inside the buildings, we've definitely caused casualties. Oh, we're taking fire. Hold, 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 hold. Or did, did we fire? I'm not sure. Yeah, we got, co we got contact. That's a technical. That's a techie. Fuck. Get back, get back, get back. We're bringing up the scimitar to knock him out. There we go. Alright, nice. Oh. Look at him. Dude, they're set up. They got the mortar over there as well. Is that the mortar? I think we just found the enemy mortar. Okay. We got a new fire mission. Dude, they're just firing over heads. Slow down, slow it down. Get back, get back. Okay, now we got a new fire mission. The scimitar is a recon vehicle, but it doesn't... I don't believe it has any radios. So I don't believe it can do any of this. Not positioned. Oh! That's enemy mortar. Okay, but we got a new target, so we should be good. No line of sight. God damn it. Well, what about you? Do you have a line of sight of him? Can you even do this? I do. Oh, that's nice. That's the good thing about modern warfare. Modern warfare, my guys. Okay, not quite. All right. Perhaps the sniper team can do us good. We can definitely move up now here slowly. Platoon HQ, just just chill. You're good. We knocked out the enemy vehicle. I'm not worried about the enemy technical. That looked like a machine gun technical. I don't want to get too close to any... Um, I don't want to get too close to any uh, handheld rocket weapons or a recoilless rifle. If that is a recoilless rifle techie, then oof. We got one abandoned techie over there, possibly knocked out. 
Contact. Well, knock him out. Yes, sir. We got some kind of line of sight of the target, but I think if this is enough vision to call it in, then let's do it. Nice. That should knock him out. Uh, we'll use two guns again. Uh, we'll we'll do uh, heavy once again. Uh, short. General. Immediate. Confirm. Hello, fire mission. Over. Okay, so five minutes have passed. I think it's time we start looking into what we can do. The smoke didn't really do anything, so I apologize to anyone. Um, not proud of my smoke usage there. I thought it was going to linger for a bit longer, but it didn't. Um, let's bring up the NHMG here. Uh, put it up behind the scimitar. Uh, we've got the three GPMGs here that I want to use later on. That's the enemy mortar for sure, but very off. Practice, boys. Have you not practiced? Look at the sick-ass sniper team with the, uh... Is that a silenced L96A1? No, it's not silenced, but it is an L96A1. We got a... AWP. The AWP. Well, we'll crest the hill slowly. Hey, hey, open up. Gunner up. Let's go. Oh! Bloody hell. Gunner dead. Gunner dead. They definitely have a technical still operational back there. And one... Not a very inexperienced one either. Gunner dead. Okay, we need we need to put some people in this vehicle. What the... How are they penetrating now again? 50 caliber machine gun for sure. Okay, so... I hope he still got the fire mission going. There we go. Okay, let's shake him up again. Real hard this time. They're holding that south VP very heavily. A lot of technicals over there. I want to really... the What this game really makes you do is uh, uh, preserve your... Uh, we got a team here. Come on, we can kind of separate these guys a tiny bit. Really makes you think about the lives of your troops. You want to complete a mission with no casualties. It is probably impossible. Uh, not impossible, but it's hard. But it's something you always strive for in this game. And I quite really do appreciate that. It's it's uh, it's cool as hell. Uh, or it's a it's 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 a game. When do you when do you think about like, you know, uh, achieving zero casualties in in any in any strategy games? Because in this game, I suppose you really value. The lives of your men more because they're limited you can't bring in any reinforcements and with a level of realism it just makes it it feels so much more Shot important Shot out. let's bring up the two section on the flank let's bring up some firepower here we need to hit them at the same time though we can't bring one over the one over the hill at the time but now that the mortars are going out okay all right over. we got some of our infantry men over here Shot. opening up that's nice. M249, I do believe. Or, no, but... The L110A2. I, they're equivalent of the M249. Sort of. Shot over. At all. Shot out. Cool. We hit that vehicle up pretty good. I'm still worried about their technicals. So that seems to be the... the, the the main firepower they have to bring. Flash over. Flash out. Here we go. Uh, not sure what technical hit us up. But definitely have to be cautious. Let's bring up some of the GPMGs. That should be enough firepower to really Shot, shake things up. But once again, Shot, small arms can out. do a lot of damage to these. So, you have to keep that in mind. At least the crew inside. Splash over. Splash out. Okay. 
Someone rolled the British Grenadiers. We're, we're kind of uh, getting into it now. Let's bring up some firepower here. You, sometimes in this game you're really cautious and then that whole... After the first blood or the first casualty, you drop all the the care. Not the care, but you know, you drop all the, the nerves. We're bringing some infantry up here as well. We got some, we got one team up here on the high ground. We got casualties. I can't believe they're that accurate. I mean, they're bloody untrained insurgents. Got one casualty. We're gonna need a medic medical attention. Let's cover him for a bit with the scimitar. It would have been nice to have a challenger too up in this place. There we go. Put some fire on that building. Sniper's active right now. Yeah, baby. Clean, clean, clean. Okay. Taking it slow here. Steady does it. We're going to establish ourselves on this ridge. One step at a time. We're going to bring these vehicles. Once the infantry is established, and once we can tell they're not taking any immediate critical fire, then we can bring the vehicles up a little bit more as well. Okay, can we, can we tend to this guy now? He needs care. He needs medical attention. The scimitar doesn't seem to be any immediate in any immediate danger as well, which is good. Sniper, are you active? There we go. That's a crack sniper. Probably maybe SAS even. SBS sniper. We are rolling. They have... That's a recoilless rifle, I do believe, opening up at us. So we got a new target for sure. I'm not sure I have any... Uh, you guys can call in. But can you see it? Too small. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring you up a tiny bit further then. Just keep it... Stay slow. Stay slow. That's the GPMG firing, or the GMG, rather. Nice. Let's get smoke to cover the advance. Sniper team still advancing, or holding this ground. We got this uh, team over here opening up at the enemy. Okay, so we lost one of the gunners in here. Uh, I understand. We definitely want to put another man on that gun. Because for now, we only have the smaller medium machine gun. We don't want that. Advance. Oh, whoa. No, they're definitely still putting all the pressure on us. But we're, I think we've got a good combat line going right now. They got a lot of technicals over there. Let's try and hit them up. We're kind of overshooting, but we're hitting the infantry further back. Whoa, that's a rocket. And it tried hitting the scimitar. Now the driver's dead. Do we have anyone that can drive this? Can any of the... Can the commander or gunner just jump in? We can't pop smoke. Okay, someone swapped seating. That's nice. I don't think we... I don't know if we have any crew members that can actually jump in and take over. This is uh, A team, B team. Okay, so if we can link these guys up, they can actually join it back in the same team. Let's start assaulting up the bridge here. We still we we have some formidable cover. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, let's move the sniper team aside a tiny bit. Let's assault up here as well. This is where the cover really starts fading away. 
This is kind of when, as soon as you get over this, well, it's going to be tricky. Okay, but the GPMGs are working it. They are definitely working it. What's it like on this guy here? Gunner and driver, so let's put the HQ in that. No smoke here. Okay, so these are still doing quite well. Let's hold him there. Try and keep him. Let's let infantry, which is definitely a smaller target, do some more of the fighting now. Okay. This is really a, a nightmare in terms of uh, assaulting. The town is so well covered. There's so much open ground. There's really not a lot of variety in, in terrain altitude here that would allow us to advance more safely. But I ask, we ask for a challenge at all times. And once we get into the town, we can actually start kind of working. Third platoon is moving up. Platoon HQ is back here. It needs to be brought up as well. Inspire the men. Well, let's bring up this reconnaissance section to support the assault on the right side. I don't, I don't think they have any technicals left. They're all here in the center. I have no idea what kind of casualties we're currently looking at. But, oh boy. We, we are doing quite well with the infantry. Hitting the infantry back there. Okay. Our jackals are not ex excelling here. Oh, that's a direct hit from a uh, from some kind of grenade. We got casualties. Two section. Well, I think my 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 main advance is probably not going to occur here. We we still have to weaken their left side or our left side of, of the enemy. Get a tiny bit closer. I'm seeing lots of medium machine guns here on these. Not nothing too heavy. Uh, this approach is a nightmare. We got so much smoke around here, and that's that's the smoke from the jackals. That's that seems to be quite good. This team first section here is taking a lot of fire. We really don't have we really don't have a lot of firepower to assist them with now from the vehicles here. Most of these have actually lost personnel. Let's let's race this one to the far further here, further left, and perhaps that will exclude him from taking fire from the center and he can kind of like work on getting these guys. Hope the gunner is ready. You've got one section, one team from two sections supporting. So now's probably the time to to hit them up. I definitely want to try and target the enemy vehicles with that GP GMG. There we go. Oh, so much small arms fire. Right, let's reverse him again. Let's bring up some mortar fire. This is still a hot zone. All three guns, heavy, short. Again, let's Hello, hit him up. We got the platoon mortars as well. Let's try and bring this vehicle up here. Can we still split these teams? Yeah, there we go. So these two guys crew this crew this vehicle. 
Pruitt. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Fast, fast, fast. You move up here. This section is holding nicely. This vehicle is actually doing quite well. We're, we're getting uh, casualties 10 to 2 over here. Sniper team is... Marksman is down. Marksman is down. Fuck. Scimitar. Gunner and driver. So, one man down. I'm not sure we can actually really help him out too much. But let's bring this guy in on the left flank here together with this fully functional GMG Jackal with all three crew members alive. He's down one guy. He's down one guy. But now they should have another gunner. Yeah, there we go. That that should be much better. Okay. So let's see if we can actually put some fire on any enemy teams over there. These guys are moving up below the bridge. Let's have these guys move down here as well. They sh there should be sufficient cover now from, from vehicles and, and infantry. There we go. Okay. Let's move you guys up as a team here. Hello, fire mission. Out. Fire mission, good. Okay. Let's hit him with everything at once here. I'm not sure what, what enemy technicals are still operational or not. Taking small arms, we should be good. Hit that enemy target with HE. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. There we go. I don't want to leave the scimitar as the sole target. So let's reverse him over there. Okay, good. Mortar mission incoming. We are, however, advancing. These guys are doing a pretty good job here at holding this this, uh, this road. Sniper team, sniper team, rather, still working, working hard. This is a daring move, but also bring you guys up because you're actually oh, okay. We're climbing the bridge now. Classic. Uh, we got one man on top of the bridge. Shot's over. Shot's over. Let's go. Over. Mortar control. So not a lot of actual manpower we can really use here. Reconnaissance team. Let's bring the reconnaissance team up with these guys on the far left. The rest here are just utility vehicles with drivers. We have one more HMG Jackal. Let's, let's really try hard here for the vehicles on the left side. Let's really make a push for that. Most... I haven't really checked on casualties here, but so far so good. We got one man wounded, but still pretty good. Let's reverse back here, and let's bring this vehicle up in the center more to provide some cover. Let's uh, also bring these guys up a tiny bit. They look like they've both lost units. Mortar's hitting hard now. Dismount. Let's go. Recce team. Hello, round complete. Engine mission out. I wish they could swap guns, like swap seats. Hold it, hold it, hold it. 
Oh, shit, he's down. Gunner down. They got so much small arms here. It's absolutely insane. We've hit them up so hard. They got teams further back, though. That's an abandoned ATGM. That's a working ATGM. That's terrifying. Can you hit him up? Attack that team with some HE. That might have even killed him. Who knows? Oh, we got the, the GMG engaging as well. So much enemy infantry. It's insane. Okay, marksman being taken care of right now. We got more mortars to use. Let's hit up the let's hit the let's hit the town up with everything we've got. And let's just bring it in. Hello, fire mission over. Let's hit that hit that up because there's a, just a swarm of enemy fighters there. We've got 34 minutes to secure some more objectives, and it isn't looking too bright right now. Okay, let's jump in that car. Let's man that main gun as well. We can actually put the recon teams to use here because they're small enough to crew the remaining seats of all the other vehicles. Like this this like this like one section 2IC team. Uh, let's put him to work as well. Let's just abandon the, uh, the, the TUM vehicles here. Go. Go. Fire support section HQ. We need to put you to work too. There are definitely one more vehicle there that we can crew. This vehicle can need crewing as well. And we just got a sole driver here, so drive up and join the fray. We got another reconnaissance team here that we can drive up to the right side. Where we definitely need to definitely crew some more vehicles. Yeah, let's put these guys to use. They're not really heavy in firepower, but those extra men are going to be able to enable us. They're going to give us the ability to use more firepower. Here we go. Let's bring these guys up as well. Two casualties in three section. They definitely need some support. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Hello, fire mission. Out. Hello, fire mission. Out. Hello, Crew that gun. Out. And let's get going. Let's cover the uh, the medic. Shot over. Shot out. This is just a brutal fight. Uh, this HMG Jackal, that's the GMG Jackal. Get in, let's go. Or actually, you can't, because there's too many of you. Uh, well then. Right, because these are the Jackals. They, they, ah. Uh, if I had some lone, lone drivers, that would be nice. Just, just going full ham here right now. But I think we've done enough damage. It seems like we've definitely suppressed the enemy here enough for us to be able to advance on this flank so we can bring some of the teams up now. Let's bring up the snipers as well. There should be some cover here. No, I don't want you to get on the bridge. I actually want you to drive below. Hopefully that won't teleport you up to the bridge. Oh my god, B team is all wiped out. But there's been a, a, an explosion there that could explain that. Look at this line of fire here. This firing line. Wow. Oh my god. Technical somewhere. Scimitar, do you have a visual on that? There's so many technicals. It's like we're fighting the Republican Guard here or something. Or not, you know, the Republican Guard, but like former guardsmen fighting really well. This is some Fallujah stuff. Okay. Well, that's only the driver in there. Do we have a two-man team here? I do believe I saw a two-man team here. Great. Get in that car. And let's put it to full use. Uh, you. Let's bring you up. 
Let's have this team follow behind if anyone gets shot. I know that sounds cynical. That's just how it is. We're still hitting them up so hard, and now we're getting a lot of mortars here. That it actually might make them retreat. Oh boy. Man down. Man down. Did we give them everything we just had? Wow, this is just a slow, hard fight. Um, let's see if we can drive up any more two-man teams here. I gotta double check so that I haven't forgotten the... No, there are no, like, swap seats thingy here. Okay. I have com not completely forgotten about this flank, but... The these guys... Oh, no. They seem so stable. Wow, we, some of the, these sections are just taking so much fire. These guys have, wow, almost completely wiped out. And I feel terrible for not seeing that. You really just feel quite terrible. Uh, we got some good, some ability here to, to bring some more fire into these cars. Uh, GPMG, GPMG, okay. Let's get in. Bring that machi machine gun detachment up, along with some more reconnaissance. Yeah, the approach from this side has been a nightmare. Italian HQ. A Company HQ. We can bring up H A Company HQ. Second platoon HQ. You need to be up here with your men. Maneuver support company HQ thingy. I definitely think there are some seats that you guys can crew, so let's bring let's bring these cars there. They're, they're, we're putting them to new use. Just some abandoned tomb FFRs back here. One section, let's move up. Okay. This part is uh, seems pretty clear. But I don't know if we can secure a victory in 26 minutes. Cover. Where's the A team? Oh, they're down here probably. Or they might even be in a... Yeah, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, now we're cooking. It got a little bit quiet after that. Get out, motor barrage. The enemy did silence down a bit. Look at this. The marksman was killed, but this guy, he this is just so good. He picked up the sniper rifle, and now he's doing what he can with it. I wonder how many guys this guy has killed. How many insurgents? Okay, it took a while, but we got there, guys. It did take a while, but we got there. We finally... We haven't done it yet, but we're on our well way of securing the, the south VP here. Let's go. This car is knocked out. This one is it's destroyed. It's not even abandoned. It's completely destroyed. Something's totally wrong with that. That's just correct. Totally wrong with that. Okay, do we have any two-man teams here that we can crew this uh, HMG with? That sounds like a good idea. What about the GPMG? Is that a GMG? Fuck, that's a GMG. Sorry about the swearing. That's another GMG. He could use a one-man driver team, but we don't have that. So it's going to have to be like this. We're putting these guys to use here. Unfortunately, sometimes I don't like have, having too many support teams, back and forth team, this team, that team, because they don't really post, they don't really have any firepower that you can use properly. Uh, part of me is really just detrified seeing this, like, here's a four-man section down. Dead to an explosion, probably, enemy mortar. Okay, we've got a classic teleport, that's fine. That's game map design stuff, you know, whatever, it happens in all kinds of games. Very commonly seen in Men of War 2. And it doesn't ruin my experience one bit. The enemy has quieted down now after a few mortar barrages. I wonder if we can assault now. It, it might seem like a very crazy move, but it's gone gotten so quiet here on this front that I think we can actually start assaulting the buildings. So let's send over some teams. Let's have the the gunner rise up to provide some covering fire. We got the machine gun section over here. Nice. That's the M240. And this trio of vehicles here is actually working out quite nicely. Also, rest in peace to two section. I am, I am terrified. I am just absolutely... I'm shook. Uh, you join that vehicle crew. Because we need to get uh, another gunner going. Because there's only one person missing here. And then... Oh, now he dead. <laughs> now he dead. <laughs> yeah, so... Fifty cal, let's go. Yeah, now we're talking. Second platoon, your platoon is advancing right now, right? Together with third platoon, so keep that in mind. Two section, let's go. We're moving. One platoon HQ, take their spots. Together with A Company HQ, we got a very daring. Major up here or something like that. GPMG working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Calm it down then, alright? Calm it down. Problem. Oh, fuck. Definitely want to take it easy here now. We need more manpower that can secure over here.
A section and B section, let's link up. This is two section B team. Where's two section A team? There we go. Okay, you guys link up as well. So now we can form some better squads here. Two I see and one section. That's what's left. Okay. Well, you guys got this line, this wall covered here nicely. Got a 50 caliber machine gun to support as well. Let's link these sections up and then let's start clearing this. I'm going to bring the scimitar in reverse back here. And then also possibly bring this utility vehicle back around the flank with it. So we're going to have them just be out in the open there, away from any close handheld grenades and stuff like that. Okay, we're definitely getting some troops in here. Okay, let's clear this building. Let's go. You guys clear this building. Let's go. Take up there. And you can take up there. Okay, we've got 20 minutes now to do this. And I think we can crack it. I think we can crack it. Nice. Only the driver in here. Do we have any two-man sections that we can put in him? We can take the driver of this utility vehicle and then put... Uh, this should be Battalion HQ. No, this, yeah, this is Battalion HQ in the car. In the car. Monkey in the car. Okay. Uh, he's good. He's got the driver and the gunner, so that should be fine. It'll still be interesting to see what how many casualties we've taken, even though I think it's a lot better than what the enemy has suffered from, of course. That isn't really something you should be comparing. Empty. Let's shake that line up a tiny bit. Hello, fire mission, over. Even if it's just smoke, let's cover him. Okay, are we starting to gather our teams now? Nice, two section, let's go. Leave him there to cover. Fire support section HQ. Okay. We should have another section formed up here. Yes, one section. Let's bring you up to the car. And then let's have you assault a little bit further. We're, we're anticipating enemy personnel nearby. Let's also bring you up. And let's bring up the teams one at a time. Actually, we can bring you both up. We've got, the, uh, we've got enough cover for it. Nice. Okay, they're in the building. These guys are by the wall. You guys are going to assault this way. You guys are going to join up here and assault this way. Clearing building by building. I don't know if it's cleared. We shouldn't cross the street yet. We just got our eyes peeled on any enemy contacts across the street and whatnot. Let's bring up... Let's actually separate these guys now. A team and B team. B team will hit the second floor. A team will move across the street. I think it's good. I think we're good to do that. B team. You remain in there. And we'll send up A team across the street. Not really seeing any adequate amounts of like enemy firepower. Uh... A Company HQ, we're sending you across. Together with 1st Platoon HQ. Uh, he had a fire mission, but whatever. Sniper, let's uh, get you on the 2nd floor. 2nd Platoon HQ. Let's move you up as well. GPMG, put you in a better position. Reconnaissance, bring you up. 3rd Platoon HQ, bring you up. 3T, okay, we got casualties being tended to here. That's nice. You love to see it. Nope, just like that. No, summer. Oh, wow. That, that just happened. Recoilless rifle, I'm not sure what that was. But it hit us hard. But now I am so determined to win... Secure victory, the crown. That um, 
I'm a little unfazed. You guys are exhausted. Well, then rest up a bit. Or move slowly up to that building. We're going to send this vehicle to cover with you. This happens because, you know why? Because the game thinks it's on the bridge. Oh, there we go. If we just couldn't cross, nice. So this is going to free another vehicle up for us that we actually quite heavily need. Uh, but we're going to send him here. The sniper team is doing good here. I'm not sure is he if he's combat active or not, or if he's just scouting. Yeah, they're just scouting. Let's send them across. We need to bring the snipers up. Snipers. Let's take both A teams in there. We got the B teams back here. Now we got A Company HQ in here as well. B team, let's go. And B team, let's go. We're really putting our officers to use here as well. They are fighting the hard fight. One section. Let's clear this corner building. This is brutal. House clearing, guys. the outside like that. South VP is under our control. Wow, this 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 side is a mess. For sure. Let's have the driver dismount and have him join the the HMG Jackal there. Let's go. Battalion HQ. This guy is just the driver. I don't think we have any more teams, so let's dismount. Let's have him leave that vehicle for now and join this GPMG Jackal instead. He's got vehicle crew experience. Nice. It's been a really long time since I played combat missions, so I do apologize if I'm a bit rusty. Uh, but, oh boy. This is a lot of fun still. Clear this building, one section. B team, let's get on the second floor. We'll have three... This is three section B team. We'll have three section A team join you. Got covered. Nice. You guys are going to link up in this building here. And we'll have the teams combined again. Sniper team, let's put you on the roof of this building. And we'll leave A Company HQ in there. Where's your platoon? Okay, your platoon is on fighting on that left side there, so we're going to bring you closer to your men. Put you in that corner building. Four-team sniper. We'll put you on the roof here as well. With this sniper gentleman. Facing that way. Wow, even Battalion HQ is getting into it right now. Oh, this is Lieutenant Colonel. Yeah, he's a Lieutenant Colonel. The other sign was just a Major. Made sense. I, I wondered why the Company HQ would be a Major and Battalion HQ would be a Major as well. Battalions are always Colonel, like Lieutenant Colonel commanded, right? Two section. We're moving. Medics tending to the wounded. This this right flank has been hit so hard. Actually, you need to tend to your wounded there. I like how they do that. 
Let's bring up the reconnaissance as well. The recon teams, the recce teams. Three section B. Where's three section A team? Oh yeah, three section A team was wiped out, wasn't it? Yeah. Blimey. There's, they, don't, they don't catch a break here on this side. So I got another idea for you. We're going to send you around up here where you can do some good. Go. We're going to have them relink. Fire support section. Put you on the roof. We are moving. Ten minutes remaining, and we are definitely grasping this uh, major. Uh, the major is west, uh, but I think if we can secure these two and kind of look at what the enemy does, then we still might be able to turn this into a victory. And if not, good game, AI. You held me back. Good. Of course, the, the beginning phase was a slow one. But that's just how it is. Whatever they got, they got a lot of fire on this. Luckily, we got good grenadiers and whatnot here. Variety of weaponry. Look, they're just in the buildings. They're everywhere. Bloody hell. Move. Both of our snipers are working hard up here on the roof. Nice. We gotta wound it out in the open. We gotta, we gotta care. We gotta care for him. Wounded. So we're bringing these guys up for cover. Oh shit! What is that? Bloody hell. Mobility here on the left side. Let's have one team out here in the open together with the vehicles. Let's engage. We got enemies on that building. Oh, they're out. They're panicking. Six minutes remaining. This has been a nightmare. Uh, there's just so many enemy combatants. They're holding this down so well. We're taking casualties a little bit here and there as well. He's dead. We got one wounded. I think they, we can might maybe care for him from inside the building. I'm not sure. You guys are providing some kind of cover for from this side, I suppose. Nice. We've got teams of two here and there. Okay, they're tending to the wounded over here. That's nice. We've got two wounded. Reconnaissance. Let's bring him up. Machine gun team. 
Let's get back in. Let's get back in. No, 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 no. Don't pull back. Just a driver left here, okay. Maybe then, if we got a GMG Jackal here with, with still some rounds. Uh, no, the 40 mil is out, so that doesn't even matter that much. Might as well dismount him. We might have this objective. I'm unsure, but we might. If we did, it would be great. If not, it wouldn't be so great. We're still tending to one more. Whoa! Look at that! They surrendered with four minutes left on the clock. Wow. Okay, so we did we did get two of them. Uh, and I think we just hit, hit enough parameters. So, the British Army had has 94 men okay, 14 men killed, and 45 wounded. We had 45 wounded, but only 14 dead. Mortal casualties, two vehicles lost. We killed 83 insurgents, we wounded 87, 9 vehicles destroyed, and 49 surrendered. Blah! What an intense fight. That was was pretty good. Some of the assets I didn't think we saw were the, uh, the RPG team here, actually. They were definitely active. Wow. Guys, be sure to check out Combat Mission Shock Force 2 on the Steam Store page. Link down below. Also, guys. Um, yeah, uh, wow. Let me know down in the comment section below what you would like to see next. I think it would be cool to place the Syrian army, maybe up against the British army or German army or any army for that matter. Just bring some T-72s and BMPs and lots of, of, of infantry. Um, this was really cool to place the British army. Of course, there's a lot more to it. This was just a small infantry battle. Um... I know you guys like tanks, I know you guys like vehicles and long-range fighting, so maybe some of these town-clearing scenarios aren't your favorites, but it was just a sweat, to say the least. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again.